Hey guys, it's Avalon, and today I want to show y'all how you can make a family tree like the one on the screen here using Microsoft Excel, Apple Numbers, and even Google Sheets. Now, the program I'm using to make this example is Microsoft Excel, but you can apply all the other um, techniques that I will show you here today on the other two programs I mentioned as well. Now, the names for things may be different, but it should all be about the same. Anyway, so let's get started. So let's say you want to map out your real life family tree or perhaps a character's family tree, but you're not quite sure how to go about doing that on the computer. Pretty easy to do on pen and paper, but when you go look in on the computer for programs to map out a family tree, you're kind of limited. Well, there's actually a rather simple and easy way to do this using Microsoft Excel, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first what you want to do is you want to get a blank worksheet. After you get your blank worksheet set up, you're going to want to put in your first family member. So I typically like to select B2 as my first cell to start everything because I like having this extra one cell space between the edge of it and such. You don't have to do this, but that's just my personal preference. So let's put in a family member. So for this example, I'm going to put Adam as a family member. Now, one key thing for this to work is that this cell needs to actually take up four cells. So this cell needs to take up this cell, this cell, this cell, and this cell. And to do that, what we want to do, we want to click the cell we have the name written in and then select this cell that's like across from it. And then we want to come up here to merge and click that. Now, once you've done that, now you have a merged cell and this cell is taking up four spaces. It's very important that your cell is like this, otherwise everything else that I'm gonna tell you in this tutorial is not gonna work for you. Now, one thing I personally like to do is I like to fix the way that the text appears in this cell. So I go over here to text alignment, that's kind of two spaces over from merge and do middle align and then I like to make the text a little bit bigger so we'll make it 14 looks good all right so we have the first member on our family tree what do we want to do next well of course we want to add another member of that family tree so let's get this guy a partner so what you want to do when you add another member to the family tree you want to make sure that there's going to be two spaces between every single cell that has a family member in it so we're gonna go two spaces over and now let's put a character in here. How about, let's just call this person Eve, how about that? So now we have our second individual and like we did for Adam, we're going to select the four cells here, hit merge and then adjust the text to our liking. Now we have our two individual cells. Now in order to distinguish these, because what you're also gonna do eventually you're gonna go to view and you're gonna uncheck grid lines eventually. And you're not gonna be able to see the boxes for these guys unless you directly select them. So when, so before we take the grid lines away, what we wanna do, so we want to select a cell, go to borders here, and we're gonna to wanna to hit thick outside borders. And that's gonna add these thick borders around the cell. So we'll do the same over here for Eve. And then we'll go to view and we'll go over here to the grid lines and we'll uncheck that and that's going to take away the grid lines but for now we're going to keep these on as we continue to work on this family tree so now we have two individuals well how do we you know draw a line between these two so to draw a line between these two you're going to want to select this cell and this cell you can do the bottom cell or you can do the top cell it doesn't matter either one works i typically do the bottom cell. So once you have these two selected, you'll want to go over here to borders, hit the down arrow, and you want to hit top border. When you hit that, it's going to put a line for the top border. And now you have these two connected. Now maybe you don't want a solid line. Maybe you want to save the solid line for a different kind of relationship. Because over here, 
in my other thing, you can see I have dotted horizontal lines, solid vertical lines. We have dotted vertical lines and solid horizontal lines. So you want to have lines that have a representation for different things so that it change the way that this line appears. I typically use a horizontal dotted line for intercourse relationships and then a horizontal solid line for siblings just so that you know it makes sense to have the solid line for siblings and then a dotted line for those who aren't related but are in an intercourse relationship makes sense in my mind you can do it differently but that's just how i do it so to get these to a dotted line we want to select them again go down to border style hit the dotted line and you're going to get this little draw pencil icon you don't need to worry about that because all you've got to do is go back here and hit top border again and then that's going to change that to the dotted line so now we have our two individuals here in an intercourse relationship so now they're going to have a kid so let's add a kid to this family tree so what you want to do is you want to go two down from these individuals and let's, we can put it here in the center for now. You can do it underneath Adam or you can put it in the center. You can do it underneath Eve. It's ultimately going to depend on how many children these two individuals have on how you map this out. So for now, I'll go ahead and start simple and do it in the middle. So let's give them a child. Let's call this child Steve. So now we have Steve and we're going to fix this cell. We're going to merge it and adjust the text to our liking. And then what you wanna do is you wanna do the thick outside borders again. Now we're gonna draw a line from this connected dot between these two down to Steve. So we're gonna select this top cell, go down to this, and now we're going to click the left border. Now you can also do it from this side and click right border as well. It's Depends on how you want to do it. Now here's the issue though. We have a dotted line, dotted vertical line. We want to do a solid vertical line since this is a direct child between these two individuals. I typically save the dotted vertical line for adopted children. So we're gonna select these cells again, go to borders, go down to border style, hit the solid line. You're gonna get this little pen marker again, but just know you still have these cells selected. Go back to borders and then hit left border again, and that's gonna change it to a solid line. So now you have a standardized family tree, and it was not that complicated at all. Now, if you are new to Excel numbers or sheets, there is definitely going to be a learning curve here for you right now since you don't know how this all works. But for those that do know, this is gonna be a very simple concept to catch on with. Now, let's say Adam and Eve have more than one child. Maybe they have a second child down the line. So to add even more siblings, we're gonna go two spaces over again, and we're gonna go to this cell, and let's give them a Mary. They have a daughter. Once again, we're going to merge the cell, and we're gonna fix the text to your liking. Now, if you know how to do the cell styles, you can set up your own cell style so that after you merge the cell, you can go to your styles and select that style. That way you don't have to repeat the text alignment and all this jibber jabber. I'm not gonna do that in this video because it's not necessary. But there are plenty of other videos on YouTube that you can look up that'll show you how to do that. Anyway, so we got Mary again and we wanna do the thick outside borders. And now we're gonna draw a line to Mary to show the relationship. Now, since we already have a vertical line coming down from the Adam and Eve, we only need to add a horizontal line over to Mary. So first what we'll do is we'll select this line because we want to have the line on this little grid line here. So we'll select this cell all the way over to this cell. You don't wanna go all the way over because what we wanna do is we wanna put a vertical line right here in the middle of the Mary cell. So you'll only select these four cells and we'll go up to borders and we're gonna hit the top border. Now we have a horizontal line. 
and the horizontal line, the solid horizontal line, it's going to show the siblinghood between Steve and Mary. And the horizontal dotted line shows the intercourse relationship between Adam and Eve. Now we want to add the vertical line down to Mary to show that she is a daughter of Adam and Eve. So we're going to select this cell and we're going to go back to our borders and we are going to hit right border and that's going to put a line right down to Mary. So now we have a dad and a mom and a brother and a sister. Well, let's say that Mary meets another individual and she's going to have kids of her own. So we're going to come over here and let's see, let's say she meets a guy called Gary. We're going to change the cell, merge it. And then we're going to do the thick outside borders. And now we can do the horizontal dotted line between them since they're going to have an intercourse relationship. So we'll go back to our borders, do the top border. Now before we do that, if, since we know it's already going to be the solid top border, we'll go down a border style, hit the dashed line, then go back to borders and hit the top border and that's going to put in the dotted horizontal line. And then you can do the same procedure over again to put a line down and make them have a child. So as you can see now, it's the same concept that you can just keep repeating and repeating till you have a full-fledged family tree. So if we go back over here to my own family trees that I've made, you can see here how I've used both the horizontal and vertical styles to create this very complex family tree. Also, you may be wondering what is this dot, this double line? I use this double line to show multiple generations. Instead of mapping out every single generation, if I just wanna say, oh yeah, it's these two, and then there were a bunch of children that came off of that, you know, maybe like 20 generations later, this person then showed up. I use the double line to indicate that there were multiple generations. Now you may also notice on here that I have colored text and I have the fill color in the cell. So I have a key here. So whenever I use the blue fill in the cell, that's for males. The pink cell is for females. I use a gray cell for unknown genders and then I use other for any other genders. The solid horizontal line I use for blood siblings and the dotted horizontal line I use for an intercourse relationship. The solid vertical line I use for blood offspring and the dotted vertical line is for adopted offspring. And like I said here, the double horizontal line, multiple removal. So this is like saying, oh, this is my cousin's cousin or he's my second cousin, third cousin. You get the whole gist. And then the double vertical line, multiple generations. Now you don't have to worry about all this. This is just because I do fictional character family tree mapping so you don't have to worry about this if you are doing real life family trees or whatever. The other thing that I do is I use color text to do people who are alive and deceased. Another way that you can do this too is to color the border. So say maybe Adam dies. So instead of having a black border, we'll go to border color and hit red. And then we'll do the thick outside border again. And now Adam has a red border to show that he died. That's another option you can do instead of doing the red text. So there's a lot of different ways that you can flash this out. Now let's say you finished your family tree and you want to get rid of these grid lines here. So to do that, you'll go over to view, come over here to the grid lines and uncheck that. And now those grid lines are gone and all you have is the family tree. And from here you can print it out and you have this very nice, neatly fleshed out family tree that's going to impress your friends and family or maybe even your professor or school teacher. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please sure to pop a like and if you have any suggestions or have any questions, be sure to leave that in the comments and I'll try to answer your question. This is Avalon Cat and thank you for watching.